Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the best investing money management channel on YouTube. I am your host Carter and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five stocks that I am buying this week. Now, there's been a lot of hype about most of these stocks and honestly, some of them are going to be blue chip stocks that still carry a lot of long-term growth and some of these are going to be more speculative or more riskier investments that I would always recommend doing your own research before you guys invest. I'm just shedding a little light on kind of some of these stocks that I'm buying more of and I'm buying. All right, so starting off with stock number one here. This is NIO. For those of you that don't know, I've been buying this stock for quite some time. Honestly, I bought in at around $11 and $11 and about 50 cents here. And I've been just dollar cost averaging this uh, position for the past year or so. And you guys can see that this is going to be more of a speculative or riskier investment. You guys can tell just by look how, look how fast this thing goes up and down at pretty rapid rates. But one thing for certain, you guys can see it does have some overall resistance here at about 55, right? It came in contact once here, 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 and now here. So we classified that as resistant, okay? So now, given that it sold off around 4.3% today, this would be a good opportunity to pretty much buy on a discount and hold it for the next couple of years. But for, for those of you that don't know what NEO is, NEO is the electric car manufacturer based out of China. They're, they're pretty much the Tesla of China, okay? The company's growing at a very, very rapid rate, okay? We have revenues increasing upwards of 80 or 90%. They're not profitable just yet, but it's still super common to see a lot of these startups not profitable. But still, at, at the end of the day, they have quite a bit of cash on hand, not too much long-term debt. This is going to be a company that definitely sticks around for a while. And honestly, this stock could easily, easily hit highs here by the end of this year, or if not break out. But also, it could fall back down to $35 or $30, and I'm well aware of that. I'm willing to have that risk uh, in my portfolio. I'm only investing, you know, maybe under 5% of my portfolio into NEO, but it's still a good uh, long term investment here. All right, so stock number two is ticker symbol TDOC here. So this is Teladoc Health. Now, the healthcare sector is honestly one that is a little different. A little different, okay? This company is growing at a very, very rapid rate with the uh, overall use of virtual uh, visits due to due to all the lockdowns last year. This company definitely took off. You guys can see the absolute explosion in buying pressure we saw hitting highs here at $300 before selling off down to about 129 I definitely think that this company could be one that is still going to be a little more risky, but I really believe Teladoc Health will definitely carry a lot of long-term potential due to people not wanting to go to doctor visits. We proved that virtual is possible, and I definitely think there's going to be a sector directly for that with Teladoc being the front runner of that, okay? And the thing about this, virtual visits skyrocketed, skyrocketed to almost 10.6 million from 4.1 million, okay? This was an increase of 74%, so I really think that we're not gonna go 100% back to doctor visits. Teladoc is gonna be around for the long term. Moving on to stock number three. We have ticker symbol S K L. Z here. So Skills is a big time growth stock that definitely carries a lot of long term potential. This company has deep pockets, and really what this company does is they work with gamers and they allow them to compete for cash prizes. And you guys can see in 2020, this thing absolutely exploded, really went from around $12 all the way up to about 46, sold off now. One thing that I like about this is we had a break above this 200 moving average line. Okay. Every time we've seen that happen, you guys can see it's used it as support. So it came in contact here, buying pressure, buying pressure, buying pressure, it fell below it. When a stock falls below support, it acts as resistance. Hit it again, sold off, hit it, sold off, broke above it. Now it's going to be using it as support. With it being down about 6% today, I think that this would be a good one. It's going to be a little bit of a more, it's going to be a a little bit of a speculative play. Yes, there's going to be definitely quite a bit of risk involved. So now moving on to stock 
Number four is AMZN. This is just a no-brainer investment for anybody who wants to have a solid pick for growth. Amazon is just getting started. They're in AI. They're pretty much in every sector out there. They're in fintech. Uh, everything. You know, I really think that Amazon is a very, very dominant uh, company and they're not going away anytime soon. The company historically has outperformed the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. Right now, it's just consolidating, so we haven't seen a huge amount of buying pressure enter it, but that still brings opportunity. This means that you guys can pretty much buy in, dollar cost average it, and then when this thing starts taking off, which it's done in the past, and it will probably continue to do, then this company, you guys are going to be making an absolute killing on it. Okay, moving on to stock number three or number five is P-E-N-N. This is Penn International, okay? This company is growing at a very astonishing rate. This is pretty much just a gambling site. The company, like I said, is growing super fast. They did buy out a little bit of Barstool Sports, but look at the growth, okay? Lows here at around $26, highs here at $120, sold off down to $76, This is honestly, it's not going away. Online gambling and gambling in general is here to stay. And this company is going to make an absolute fortune when things open up back up again. Uh, Look at the growth, right? It's not going away. One thing that is a little bit concerning is the overall breakdown of that 200 moving average line, but it's still nothing to be worried about. And all of these picks are my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, guys, stay positive and stay safe out there. Take care.